Hey everyone, Jeff Teague. Today we're looking at Tundra Capstone at night. So here's what we're gonna do. We've got this Tundra Capstone in midnight black. We're gonna walk around it inside and outside so you can see exactly what makes this one so special. Hey, do I see blue lighting in there? Absolutely. Ambient lighting, my friends, all the way throughout it. We're gonna see up close and personal. Capstone is the top of the food chain, the top of the totem pole as far as luxury features, amenities, buttons, controls, dials, things like that. But we wanna see how it looks like illuminated. My favorite word in the English language, illumination. Got those tail lights. That's something we can see. Are there other lights on the outside? As a matter of fact, yes there are. And look, we've got the power bed step here so we can kind of climb up in it. This one has a spray on bed liner added to it, which is kind of nice. It's got AC power back there, LED bed lights, deck rail system. There's camera up here, couple cameras, digital rear view mirror and the bed cam. Nice. And of course we've got the blind spot monitor right there in the side mirror. And yes, it's over here in the side mirror as well, passenger side. How about sequential turn signals? 24 karat magic in the air. Turn signal indicator. That's bright. My future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. I wear my sunglasses at night. Sequential turn signal here as well. I know it's hard to see, but we gotta do the best we can. LED headlights, fog lights, daytime running lights. That is a nice looking car. Nice looking truck. Midnight black and chrome. And the biggest wheels that Tundra makes, 22 inch wheels on Capstone. Now for the interior, we've got ambient blue lighting. See it running the length of that window right there? All the way across. What other lights do we have? Well, we've got some map lights up top, pano roof, that's certainly nice. So yes, the object of this game is to find as much blue as possible. We've got blue right there, backlit lights for heated and cooled rear seats. Oh, there we go, 12.3 inch information display and 14 inch Toyota audio multimedia screen. I got here at 6.45 in the morning and we've still got somebody blowing leaves. That's nuts. Thought I would beat the landscapers. Didn't even come close. Look at that, Capstone's lit up too. That is nice, darn it. I'm kind of bummed out about the landscaper here doing their job. I know they're doing their job, but I'm trying to do one too. And looking inside here, along the door seam, what about the power mirrors? Is that lit up? It is. Here we go. Oh, nice. Me with my camera going on here. And we've got, is this backlit? I don't think the memory seats are backlit, but it has memory seats. Look at the open pour wood. The accents all along the front here. It's got power steering wheel, even a leg extender. Imagine how nice that would be for road trips, huh? What else is lit up here? Any of these buttons backlit? Yep. Oh yeah. Got a lot of backlighting here. And then here's our 12.3. Let's start this Tundra iForce Max Hybrid up, one of five different national parks that show up on the startup screen. Obviously that's a cool feature. So here, look at this. It's beautiful, right? Different pieces of information that we can have about our vehicle. Let's do the safety features. Here's the trailer. You can set up a trailer, add a trailer. Blind spot monitor works all the way to the back of whatever you have hooked up here trailer, boat, camper, that kind of stuff. That's nice. And in the center console, look, we've got USBs, but we've also got more illumination inside. This is primo luxury. It's like looking for the Ark of the Covenant. Look away, Marion. Don't look at it. Dun, 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 dun. Drive modes. And then we've got the backup camera here. We'll look at that right now. So here's the overhead view. Put it in reverse so you can see backup camera. This is gonna be in front of, behind it's crystal clear even if my camera doesn't show that it is, it doesn't strobe. We strobe because of the camera settings. Look at that, that is nice. 
very impressive here. And it can also light up when you've got it in forward or drive. Yeah, I called it forward. <laughs> All right, look at this right here. We can scroll through some music. This is just a great system here. The navigation, that's once you get your profile set up and established. So we can look up pop. Do we want pop music? See, it takes a little while to come on. Hits one. The weekend. What? Look at this. Trailer break gain. Then we've got that right there, the power. Got that on off switch. Whoop, whoop. How about our drive modes? Let's go over here. I'm going to turn that dial that we saw to sport, normal, and eco mode. Remember I told you about a digital rear view mirror camera in the back of the truck facing outward, facing the bed? Well, that's a clear look right behind you so you don't have headrests or people in the way like this. Look at the visibility, by the way. It's excellent in Tundra, excellent. And a power vertical window. Everyone wants that. The whole world wants that. Everyone's asking for it. All right, so we've got sunglass holder here. Boom. And then the SOS for Safety Connect. Very nice. And lighted mirror Ugh. with slider function. And look at this. Here's the pricing. Capstone, Crew Max. What does it cost? Safety ratings, boom. Here we go, look at this. It's the twin turbo V6 engine, the 3.4 liter, 437 horsepower, 583 pound-feet of torque, 10 speed automatic transmission, part-time four wheel drive, multi-link rear suspension. It's a very smooth, comfortable ride and I love sitting up so high. Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. I like things like road sign assist, the lane centering feature. See, it's got extra power. It's the aluminum reinforced composite bed, that bed that's lightweight, but it's also extremely tough and durable. 12 speakers with the JBL subwoofer, amplifier, 10 inch color head up display. I don't know if I have that on. Here we go. Starts at 78,845. So it's at a little bit higher tax bracket than other trucks as far as in the Tundra lineup, it's the highest one. And then this one right here, it's available right now at Fred Anderson Toyota. So if you've been looking for a capstone, you can find it right here. Go to fredandersontoyota.com. And this is the head up display right here. Shows different pieces of information in your windshield, not distracting once you get used to it, of course. I gotta clean those windows. Clean the windows, clean the walls. Dun, 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 dun. There he is. Thanks everybody so much for watching. On social media, I'm at Toyota Jeff Reviews, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And I'm at Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. And I hope to see you there. And remember, if you're looking for Tundra content, click on the Tundra's playlist. Tons of videos, huge library of full-size truck videos. So thanks for clicking, and I'm glad you're here.